Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas. I am a regional flight attendant for those who don't know. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for the support. If you're new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today I begin a five day trip, which I don't want this five day trip, but it was scheduled to me. Even though this is not a rigorous five day, nonetheless, it's still a five day. Um, today I only have three legs. I end kind of early at one o'clock. So I do a Greensboro, North Carolina turn. Then I go end up in Chattanooga tonight. Now, there are some things that I can tell you all that did make the news today. So I'll let you all know about those things that happened in the news once I get to Chattanooga. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Chattanooga. I have to get my pre-flight checks out the way and I'm still waiting on my flying partner. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on. Good afternoon, everybody. So I've made it here to Chattanooga. It is going on two o'clock right now. Today was very uneventful. It was uh, three easy legs. Like I said, they weren't long. Today's flight was 30 minutes coming from Atlanta to um, Chattanooga, but my original flying partner never showed up. So my first turn, I had a ready reserve, which is someone who sits at the airport and um, that's ready to just come up to the plane at any moment's notice. And then I have a reservist on my overnight with me. So I'm not for sure what happened to my original flying partner, which I've flown her several times before. So I hope nothing bad happened. So what I was gonna tell you is like, I'm pretty sure you've heard in the news um, that most airlines are banning emotional support animals now. Like you can't bring them in to the cabin. You have to actually check them or whatever, but you can't have a service dog or a service animal, I should say. I shouldn't limit that to dogs, but a service animal. So, which <clears throat> a lot of flight attendants like it because we know there are some people that were taking total advantage of the system and saying that, oh, I have an emotional support animal. I need emotional support versus just having somebody to watch their, you know, their, an their pet. And the, here, here's why I say some people took advantage of it. Not saying that this could not happen, but, <sighs> I've had a chicken on my flight before, a baby, like a, a chicken, and it had a diaper on. Now on the paperwork, it said parrot. So I'm looking for a parrot, and then I see this chicken, and the chicken had a diaper on. I've seen some people try to bring pigs on the plane. I've seen, uh, there's a story in the news about some a lady tried to bring a peacock on the plane. So it's, I can see why they did it, because a lot of people were taking advantage of the system, but it sucks for the people who really do need those emotional support animals for fear of flying, anxiety of flying, whatever it is. So it sucks for them. Um, so a lot of airlines are starting to do that. And our airline, our, um, my company fell in line with that. But that is really it. And tomorrow training starts for, uh, we have a training class that's supposed to start tomorrow. Um, so if you all watching this, hopefully, you know, good luck to everybody that's going to train or starting training. Um, don't overthink it, you know. Well, by the time this come out, training would have started our week, but you get what I'm saying. Anyways, but don't overthink it. Don't make it harder than what it really is and just calm your nerves down so you won't overthink it and make it harder than what it really is. Um, do study but try to get out the hotel to clear your mind to take a break from studying because you don't want to get too wound up. That's my advice for people that are going to training. Um, anywhere, that's what I would say, not just for my company, but anywhere, because there are several airlines that are hiring right now. But other than that, that's all I have for you today. They, I'm glad that I'm on the same floor as the gym and the gym is like literally two steps away from my room. So I'm gonna go work out today because I cannot fall asleep because that's, that's the devil sitting right there behind me because if I get in that bed, I'm gonna fall asleep and I have to be up at four in the morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when I get up. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is day two of five for me. And um, today I have four legs. And I, before I go to my overnight, I have a three and a half hour sit. So pretty much everything else is no sits in between. Just before I go to my overnight to Johnson City, Tennessee, I have a three and a half hours sit and yeah, it's, it's still short legs. I go from Chattanooga to Atlanta, Atlanta to Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi back, and then I go to uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, you know, this, you know, I, I know I said last year was uh, like rough. Um, just found out yesterday that a classmate of mine 
um, succumb to COVID. Um, like what I mean a classmate, like as she, we went to from kindergarten to 12th grade. We, I've known her since kindergarten and we graduated together at the same, same exact time. And, um, you know, it, it, you know, it's crazy. You know, it's just like she was in the hospital on Friday and then on Sunday, she was, she was, you know, uh, gone. This is like a third person. Like my grandmother, she had to, she lost her brother and her dad, which my great grandfather within a month of each other last year. So, uh, so, you know, kind of waking up, just, just kind of sinking everything, you know, just kind of soaking it all in. I'm still, you know, going to be positive about today. You know, I look at it as she's not suffering anymore, but I also feel for her children um, as well, having to grow up without a mother. And, you know, it, I always think about that myself. Like, I don't want my kids to grow up without me, you know, as far as if something was to happen to me. So um, that's how I look at a lot of things. You know, I do know, you know, she she's not suffering anymore as far as battling COVID because before, you know, nothing was wrong with her. Of course, she had asthma. So that probably, uh, you know, accelerated it a lot. But before then, she was fine. You know, nothing was like wrong as far as she wasn't sick or anything. And then I don't know what she, you know, I don't know her personal life like that to how she would have gotten COVID or whatever. But you know uh so yeah it's you know like i said it just keeps getting closer and closer to home but again i hope everybody is safe out there you know i don't want to find out you know keep more and more stuff like that happening but but i'm gonna get ready and go down to this van and didn't mean to bring down the mood but that's just you know that was on my mind this morning because i found out last night before i went to sleep and then i woke up with it you know it's like the first thing that you you know it was the last thing i saw or heard when i went to sleep so it's the first thing on my mind this morning but um i'll see you guys a little bit later on i'm gonna get down to this van and um see you a little bit later on unless something changes and i'll let you all know Good afternoon, everybody. So I am here in my hotel in Johnson City, Kingsport, Tennessee. Yes, I'm back in Tennessee again. Actually, I'm back here again tomorrow night. Today was very uneventful. Um, had a little weather going into Jackson, Mississippi. It was actually snowing when we went there. Well, it was like by the time we landed, it was kind of like the rain snow. So it was like slush. Um, we didn't have to de-ice or anything like that. Um, but I am sleepy. That's one thing I am sleepy because I stayed up binge watching a Netflix series called Lupin. And if you haven't watched it, it's pretty much a, a French series in French, but it's really good. Um, I, I, I would suggest everyone to check it out if you have time to check it out. It's originally in French, but you when you play it, it will be in English being that you're over here, but you can always change it to whatever language you wanted to play in and it also will have the subtitles at the bottom if it's in a different language that you um don't you know that's not english or whatever the subtitles will be in english so check it check that out tonight is the national championship for college football i'm gonna watch that tonight hopefully i'll stay up long enough so i'm gonna go to the gym right now so i can stay up and i'll see you guys a little bit later on good morning everybody welcome back to day three of five for me um I slept well, really well last night. This bed is very comfortable. Um, it's not much to report today. I have four legs, almost the same schedule as I did yesterday, except I don't have an hour and a half sit once I get to Atlanta and do my turns. I just have the regular, normal 55 minute sit so they can clean. Then I do a Knoxville turn and then I sit for three hours and then I end up back here in Tri-Cities, Tennessee again tonight. So. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. I do have this sit. There's a possibility that they can change my schedule. Um, if not, I'll be back here tonight. So I'll keep you all updated. See you guys a little bit later. Good evening, everybody. So I've made it back to Tri-Cities today. So 
I was delayed. We was delayed maybe 45 minutes. So they took away my Knoxville turn from me and they added a Savannah turn to my schedule instead. So the crew that was originally supposed to go to Savannah took my Knoxville turn and I took their Savannah turn. And the only thing it did was cut my sit down prior to coming here from three hours to two. So that's pretty much all that it did. Very uneventful, very smooth flights. I uh, still have four legs. Matter of fact, this five day, I don't know if I said this or not, it's probably the most I guess difficult trip that I have to do because it's five days with the most legs. Everything else is, like I said, pretty light because I only have 85 hours this month. Um, have to bid for February, which also February is my recurrent month. I do go to recurrent next month on the 19th. So, but other than that, yeah, listen, I'm sleepy. I stayed up last night to about 12 watching the national championship game, ended up getting up at four. And like I said, I'm sleepy. Like I'm just been holding my eyes open just like that. I'm telling you I'm sleepy and uh, I'm tempted to get into bed right now, but I think I'm gonna go to bed a little bit early, probably like eight, nine o'clock tonight because I am tired. I do have to get back up at the same exact time. Well, 4.30-ish and um, have the same thing tomorrow. I have four flights tomorrow and I end up in Roanoke. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on tonight. Good morning, everybody. It is day four or five for me. Let me tell you, last night I had some of the best rest in my entire life. So this is the second night in a row that I've stayed here in Tri-Cities. And by far this bed, their beds, is by far the most comfortable beds that I've ever slept in in three years. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. It's like right there in between. And it's not, and it's, it's just comfortable. The pillows are comfortable and everything too. Now, I'm not saying it's probably, it won't probably be comfortable for everybody. But for me, it's the perfect bed. Like I really slept, well, I didn't sleep through my alarm. I kept hitting the snooze because I didn't want to get up. That's how comfortable the bed was, or the bed is, I should say, not was, but is. This is the second night, yeah, second day in a row, like even yesterday, I did not want to get up. But um, today, I, um, it's, like I said again, have another four leg day, back to Atlanta, Atlanta to Huntsville, Huntsville back to Atlanta, and then I end up in Roanoke, Virginia tonight. Um, no sits in between, everything is just all turns and I'm done by one o'clock today. And then tomorrow is go home day for me. So, and then I only have one day off. So that's how I am with it. But uh, I have a few minutes to get down to this van. I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Roanoke, Virginia. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am in Roanoke and today was uneventful on the flight. So let me tell you, so this morning I could have sworn that I put my toothbrush, my toothpaste and my razor back in my bag. Guess what? Don't have neither. Um, not really too much tripping off the toothpaste because I have a travel size. I keep at least two things of uh, toothpaste in my, in my suitcase but I only had one toothbrush, so I have to go down to the store and buy a toothbrush. And so I can't brush my teeth because, uh, yeah, I can't have my breath smell like I'll be damned out here in the morning. But, you know, that happens. And, oh, and I left my soap, too. I don't know what was happening to me this morning, but I left soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, and razor. So I have neither one of those at all. But... Also, I've had four flying partners this f entire trip. So I've had somebody for one turn at the beginning, overnight. Then I had a classmate of mine for two days. And now I have another flying partner. I'm not. Ass I'm assuming she's working with me to OK OKC tomorrow. But who knows? I might have a fifth one. But it's just how it is, you know. But um, I have to finish a flyer for the career day that I started on last night and I'm just gonna put the finishing touches on it and then email it. So uh, just to see if it fits their approval, if they, if I need to tweak a little bit something or whatnot. Once I'm done with it, I will show you guys the flyer that I did create for the career day. But I'm gonna get to that. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning once I get up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to day five. Um, it's been a drag along five day. Like I'm just been waiting to get home. Uh, 
I guess because I was so used to doing four days and you know, this fifth day just made it a lot longer. But I, today I only have three legs. I go from uh, Atlanta to Roanoke to Atlanta, Atlanta to OKC, OKC back to Atlanta. Then I'm done by 2.30. And I like getting done early as you all know, because it just makes it seem like I have an extra day off, even though I only have one day off in between, but I get back early enough to where I can still kind of either do something or just kind of unwind. And then on my off day, I can go do the things that I need to do and I won't feel like I need to rest. Um, but yeah, under, other than that, it's been very uneventful. Like I said, just a, a drag along five day. I've had four different flying partners throughout this trip. So I didn't have one continuous partner and that can happen. You can change pilots after every leg. You can have change flight attendants every two legs or every leg. It just depends on operational needs. And you know, it's just what it is. You just have to adapt to the situation. So that's a new personality that you have to get to, you know, get used to after every leg or every two legs or every day of your trip versus the same one that you started with. So, but, and I'm not saying that to say that anything was wrong with my flying parts. I'm just saying, for instance, it's just some, you know, a new person that you have to try to, you know, get to know, fill out or whatever to work with. Um, but other than that, I want to leave you all like I, as I say, as always, hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love that you love them because tomorrow's never promised. Until next time, I'm out. I'm